Hey you guys, um, Rebecca, Heidi, and Lisa here. We are so excited to talk with you guys today about the freestyle plan. We mm. wanted to kind of give you an update about how our week on freestyle, Heidi and I have both done freestyle for a week now. Lisa um, is starting, I think today, yeah? Today. Today, so we had a Weight Watchers meeting and we wanted to check in first about what our um, progress was and then just chat about the freestyle program. So Heidi, you wanna go first? Okay, so I, um, I've done freestyle for a week now. And I was feeling really good. I did lose, but I only lost 0.4. I was initially kind of sad about that, but I'm actually, I've kind of changed my mind a little bit. I've decided that that's okay, and I'll tell you more why later. Um, and I weighed in, I'm down 4.6 pounds this week. Um, which I'm excited about, but it's still part of my Thanksgiving gain weight, and so it doesn't feel like a real 4.6 pounds. Um, but it's, it's still Rebecca's so always trying to find ways to... <laughs> mitigate I the know. successes she that she has. Success. She's like, well, it doesn't really count. Oh, anyway, I lost four, four and a half pounds, essentially. Um, I am the same this week, which is good because I took a flight this week, and we all know that when you're flying, Traveling you hard. to eat more food. Yep. That's all right. <laughs> I think Weight Watchers says that somewhere. <laughs> it's, it's <written> down. <laughs> so let's talk about freestyle. Heidi, you said you're one weekend. How was freestyle for you this week? So I, when I initially weighed in and I was point, point 0.4 down, I was kind of feeling sad because I felt like I had a really good week. And I followed freestyle and I, I felt like I didn't overeat the free foods, you know. Um, and so initially I was sad, but I... I don't know, within the next minute or two after weigh-in, I kind of thought, first of all, my body is always delayed. That's like, true. it seems to me like I, I don't, what I don't, what I do that week isn't necessarily what I weigh in as. It always seems to be the next week that it pays off. And the week prior to re freestyle, I had had a very fun week. <laughs> um, in terms of food, I'd eaten a lot of things. I had a lot of sugar that I knew that I shouldn't have. So, um, so one, I think that this is some of that too, just like, it's not just this week. It's my right. efforts from the prior week, and that's okay. Um, and to, and to, the other thing I thought was just like with when I started Weight Watchers to begin with, you have to learn what works for you. Yep. And so if I find that, you know, having vegetable soup or having eggs in the morning is not working for me, I can adjust and whatever. So I, f I feel like this is the same. It's a little bit of a shift, but it's the same kind of concept as when I first joined Weight Watchers. Yeah. I just have to find what works for me. Yeah. And what works for me might not be having turkey slices. It might be focusing more on beans or I don't know. We'll see. You got to figure it out. I got to figure it out. Yeah. So I have not given up on freestyle after the first week, <laughs> even Phew. though I was anticipating like a 10 pound loss. <laughs> no, not a 10 pound loss, but I am five, five pounds away from hitting 50. Yay. Yay. And so I was looking at it. Well, I'm 4.8 pounds away from getting 50, but I was that. looking at it thinking... I wonder if I lost 4.8 pounds and I could celebrate Aww. my 50. So I think I really set myself up for like, yeah. who loses, except for Rebecca, 4.8 <laughs> pounds in a week. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's not a realistic expectation. So some of it's yeah. also grounding myself back down to what's realistic. <laughs> yeah, I have that same problem sometimes. So how did, so how did you feel about freestyle? I have some mixed emotions about freestyle. Um, one of the things I... When I started Weight Watchers originally, I got really excited about the plan and was looking up recipes and wanting to try new things. And I just, I had a lot of enthusiasm for it. And so Freestyle has kind of brought that back where I feel like it's a brand new plan. And so this week I've been looking up recipes and trying different foods and um, had kind of that excitement about it. Um, I, there are a lot of things about the program that I'm liking. Um, and if you are able to prepare food ahead of time, I feel like it's really successful. Like for, for me this week, I did a lot of prep over the weekend so that all I had to do, I have a, a busy Monday through Friday. So all I had to do is grab things out of my fridge and, and I already had it prepared. And so that worked really well this weekend so far though. Um, <clears throat> it's been a little bit of a different rotation and some unexpected things have come up and I found that it's harder for me to eat out on freestyle than it was before. Mm -hmm. And so you know, there's a balance there that, and like you said, Heidi, I might just have to figure out how to eat out on the new freestyle plan, but I, I'm finding some challenges with that. So I just have to kind of figure out a way to work around that. Cause it feels like when you had more daily points, you could eat your chicken and stuff and that would be lower points, but you still had enough points to like, if you had to eat out, there were still enough points to kind of go have something not over the top, but you know, it didn't have to be like meat and beans or something in order to be low. Mm -hmm. It could be 
you know, you could, you could have a, any number of things. And now it kind of feels like if you're going to eat out, you really got to stick to those core foods because you're going to run out of points more quickly. Well, and if you go out to eat, if you find, you know, if there aren't many restaurants that prepare meat and beans and greens that don't have things in them, you know, so you're really right. having to count points anyway. Whereas at home you have the flexibility to prepare it the way that you want. Yeah. We, of course, we've been on freestyle for a week now, Lisa. So we have some wisdom to share. Okay, well, I have some questions. So, yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, we've known about this because we're we're Weight Watchers geeks. We looked into this weeks ahead of time. We were googling it. We were following the like with the changes that happened in the UK. So, like, we've known about it, but there's something about actually living it for a little bit. And so, so I start today. So I guess I have some questions for you guys. Um, I was curious about like the rollover point concept. Has that, have you used them? Did it change the way you thought about points during the day or? I have some thoughts about this. So <laughs> <laughs> I looked at Rebecca and I knew she had some thoughts. <laughs> so, um, the first day I went over my points because I was still figuring things out. The second day I was under my points. My third day I was under my points, but my app hadn't updated to give me rollover points yet. Oh, no. So I'm just throwing points away is really what it came <laughs> down to. I didn't get any rollover. So the first time I got a rollover was from like Thursday night to Friday. Um, and I haven't used it, but I was annoyed that there was a delay in my app that I don't feel like I got credit. But um, conceptually, it made me feel a little bit better to have rollover points because I felt like I, I'm experiencing a feeling of deprivation by having the loss of my daily points um, and I'm having to work against that anxiety. Um, so having it added to the weekly points kind of helps to restore that a little bit. So I like the rollover point concept and I was excited, mm. you know, Sunday and Monday that I was like, I'm going to have rollovers. And I, like Rebecca, I experienced the first few days were kind of jarring that I, I ate all my points. And on one day I ate over my points by four points. Okay. Uh, so I was negative in the weeklies. Sure. But then the next day I had rollover. So it kind of filled in. I paid oh. myself back if you will. And I don't think that's the intention of the points. I mean, we really shouldn't eat things. You just like money. You shouldn't spend money. You don't have, you shouldn't eat points that you don't yet have. <laughs> right. But, um, it's like a credit card. But, right. <laughs> right. So but, draft protection. <laughs> but it, the concept was, I mean, I, it, Suddenly my app updated and I was at zero weekly points and I, I felt better about it. So I, I really see there's a lot of potential here that like, as I get used to the plan and I'm planning for something later in the week, I can budget that a little bit. I feel like that might not have been their intent, but it, it kind of is good though, because you, if you did go over, then the next day you went under a little bit, you know, your body's not so stuck to the fact that, oh, it was yesterday versus today. I mean, you sort of, it, it caused you to sort of have some control the next day. And I don't, back. I don't know how most people deal with when they go over weeklies emotionally, but like, I, I kind of want to give up because yeah. I feel like, Oh, I've blown it. Yeah. And, and so kind of to be able to pay myself back, it wasn't intentional. I just happened to have more and I was full and didn't want to eat anything. So it wasn't like I was trying to pay myself back. I just happened to have the points. But then when it went to zero, it totally motivated me for the rest of the week that I want to say Wednesday or Thursday. So I felt like you know, Good. okay. And I stayed to plan. So I, oh. I feel like in that aspect, it kept me on when I might've yeah. wanted to give up. Well, that's good. That's, I hadn't thought about that. So here's, here's the other thing. So today I woke up, I finally, I'm an online only member. And so I didn't get all the big announcements and everything. Um, it's just because I'm the way I'm a Weight Watchers geek and was already Googling it. Um, but so I, it was really, I mean, I think they sent us an email several weeks ago that change is coming. And then I had the same sort of few screens on the, on the app. So if I didn't know about that, I would, I would have been really surprised if I lived in a remote area and didn't know this was coming, but so I don't know, a little change management feedback maybe for Weight Watchers, <laughs> but, um, but I, but I am curious, it was a little bit jarring to see the points go down and I know you're getting more free foods, but still we're so stuck to that daily allowance that we sort of, we've internalized it by now. Once you've been on Weight Watchers for a while, it's in your head, how many points you have, how many points you have left. And so even though you have more free foods, I mean, I'm curious this week, like, did the psychology change? Did you feel like you were satisfied and you had choices? Did, did the reduction in points sort of feel jarring or how did, how did you guys feel about that your first week? The first few days, the only change that I made in terms of free food was I had two eggs in the morning instead of one. Like, <laughs> I don't know that I planned that I would need to have the free food to feel full and satisfied. And so I think that's why the first few days were really rough for me. Um, just like when you started Weight Watchers, you don't know what's going on yeah. and you ha and you, it takes in a, some adjustment time. 
I feel like that's what I experienced the first few days. But then once I got it, I felt, I mean, by Wednesday or Thursday, I felt fine. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I planned, you know, I had my eggs, I had my turkey slices, I had a vegetable soup that I made up and a bean chili that kind of fill the space. I determined for me, I want to only use one point for breakfast because I snack in the afternoon. So I don't want to eat all this in the morning and then not have any, I don't, you know, not have the budget for a snack later. Right. So I think it's an adjustment. I think, I think the biggest adjustment will be in the coming weeks of what you don't want to just eat meat all the time. Sure. What other things can you have that are fulfilling Mm -hmm. that are within your free budget? Yeah. Well, and I found, um, I had more eggs this week than I normally have. Um, I tried to have more vegetables. Chicken is probably the thing I've been most excited about being able to have some, not that I couldn't have chicken before. I don't know why, but somehow that just felt like, woohoo, I could have chicken. And so I've, I've had more chicken with meals, not a lot of chicken, but just, you know, a seasoning of chicken. Um, but when I found myself getting frustrated this week, which I didn't really experience until, yesterday when I was trying to like figure out how to eat on the go. That's the part that I got frustrated with. I I was just reminding myself like Rebecca, the whole reason you joined Weight Watchers was to lose weight. That's, that's why I'm here. And the points that I had before, um, were great and you know, helped me to lose weight. However, these points will also help me to lose weight. And so I was trying to remember my goal is not to stay to points. My goal is to lose weight. And if that means I need to adjust things as Weight Watchers adjust things that I'm willing to do that if it's going to help me to lose weight. So Rebecca mentioned chicken (laughs) and I love Chick-fil-A before this change, (laughs) but I've eaten at Chick-fil-A three times this last week (laughs) because it feels like such a treat and a splurge now that I can like, I feel the way about Chick-fil-A that many moms feel about Target. Like, it's like the safe haven, (laughs) this place I can go and they come in and they greet me and they... They feed my children and take them away to the play place. <laughs> and they give me healthy food that's nutritious. Their, ch- their chicken noodle soup, three points for the small. Three points. That is amazing. And the, now their grilled chicken is still one point. So that's it's zero they... points up until six or eight. Oh, you've got, you nuggets. first it down into yes. the number of nuggets? Yes. Oh my gosh. So I was getting, you know, however many nuggets was zero points. I don't remember if it's six or eight. And then I got the chicken noodle soup. And my Diet Dr. Pepper. So it's not a three-point filling meal. Because their eight is one. I'm looking at the app right now. So okay, it so it must six. be their six. So you get eight and you share two with someone else. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just eat the six. You can have no even 12 for sauce. one point. Yeah, that's the thing is it's one, but then you can have like a lot I more. I go back and forth. I use the honey roasted barbecue, which is only two points for their packet. Yeah. Mm. So I'll, I'll normally grab one or two packets of that. But some uh, the last time I went, I didn't have anything just because I... Wanted to see if I, you know, I had the soup and didn't feel like I needed an extra barbecue sauce. Oh, the grilled flavor. chicken cool wrap is seven. I want to think, was it nine I before? think it was nine before. Oh, that's not, that's awesome. I'm excited to try this soup there. Um, it's been cold. Oh, so, it's so good. You know. They also have a tortilla soup, which I hear is good, but the points are not in the More app. Points. And I haven't mm-hmm. entered, I haven't done the, I haven't got in to see what the nutrition information is. I looked at it before they were, it was more points. I don't, Chick-fil-A just, it, it's, tortilla soup it's totally tortilla had my heart. Soups. I've been yeah. crafting an ode to Chick-fil-A in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, the large Chick-fil-A is only, f- for the noodle soup is only five we're, points. We've really I'm just like discovering my gotten new distracted on the Chick-fil-A. <laughs> so Lisa, were there any other questions you had about the first week? Well, so generally it's a thumbs up so far, it sounds like. I still say thumbs up. Yeah. I think just, you, we just still have to figure it out. Yeah. You agreed. know, it's an adjustment. I, I kind of have a personal belief system that eating more whole foods is healthier. So mm-hmm. foods closer to the source and closer to the way that they are on the earth is good. And so this is helping me to get back to that. This is the system. a good plan for it. Yeah. The only thing that I was thinking, one thing I was thinking about this week is, is whole grains are still higher points on um, Weight Watchers. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I guess they are still giving us a point budget every day. So I guess it's not that they're saying don't eat that, but... It's interesting that that I just wonder if like that might be the next frontier because, for instance, I love Ezekiel bread because it's it's sprouted grains. It's really just healthy kind of bread. And, and you know, we're all trying to, you know, sometimes we get the like the really 
not as healthy for you like low carb bread just because it's like one point versus a piece of Ezekiel bread which is two points and the cinnamon raisin Ezekiel bread is actually three points mm -hmm. that's like a lot of points for a piece of bread you right. know so but but it's such a whole grain and I feel like it's such a healthy thing so I feel like um that's an interesting thing to think about is like what's being sort of emphasized and what's not yet quite being emphasized and then remembering like you said Heidi even in the, the old point system, when beans were a lot of points, we still knew that beans were healthy and we needed to eat them. So we shouldn't let, I think, this dichotomy now of like so many point food and so many non-point foods kind of, I think, create this system in our mind that like, oh, that's healthy and that's not healthy. Mm -hmm. There are stuff that costs points that's still very, very healthy. And I think whole grains fits in that category. Right. Well, and you don't have to use your points, you know, if you have seafood and you want to put butter on it and you put a tablespoon and that's five points, mm -hmm. you know, that uses a lot of your daily points, but there are lots of other seasonings to play with that would lower the points. You could have it be three points. I, I feel right. like there's flexibility that we, maybe we haven't found because we had the points to, to spend on a tablespoon of butter dipping my crab in or something. <laughs> and we don't want to get in the mindset that it's like, if I'm eating a, a zero point food, that's healthy. And I should spend all my other points on like ice cream. Yeah. Right. It's, you can, you should still eat a healthy balanced diet mm -hmm. and just, you know, don't you get can so incorporate those grains or, yeah. it, rather than whatever other options there may be. So all right, forward ho, I'm excited. I will <laughs> say this about the new plan is that I, I'd kind of gotten into a rut spending half my points every day on sweets <laughs> <laughs> and that you were still losing this made me this made me think about my food again yeah. and think about what I'm putting in my body and made me think like okay I need to I need to eat things that are going to fuel my body not just spend my points yeah, yeah. so I really focused a lot this week about what will help me feel satisfied at the end of the day what will, what when, when I end the day will I feel good about what I've eaten today will I feel full that I'm not hungry feeling like I'm depriving myself yeah. so it really put that in my mind We'd really like to hear what you guys think. Those of you that have been on freestyle, um, how's it working for you? Speaking of hearing from them, I, we had several people talk about the yogurt. I want to thank you all for yes. the yogurt suggestions. Yes, thank so, you. So uh, someone gave me a ranch recipe. Um, I've got the ingredients. I'm going to try that this week. Um, someone also had some other suggestions on how to use the yogurt, and we also have a blog post about it. The biggest yogurt surprise. <laughs> I use yogurt instead of sour cream in my chili. And? Totally fulfilled the need of sour cream. Really? It was totally, it gave you that creamy, cool flavor that you want. One of so. the suggestions in my blog post. So. I d hadn't even read your blog post yet. So <laughs> anyway, go That's ahead. Awesome. No, we do want to hear from you. So, th But thank you already for, yeah, for sharing those thoughts. And thank you for your, your kind words. So it's, kind. We really appreciate it. You know, the reason we are doing the podcast and doing the blog is we're finding something that's working for us and, and doing this also helps to keep us motivated moving forward. And we wanted to, to be a to larger share part our, of the community to and share so it. Yeah. Thank you very much for your kind words and feedback. We really do appreciate it. And we read everything. So, um, so we'll have some more posts up this week about how to apply freestyle. And like we said, we want to hear from you and anything else we need to talk about to wrap up. No, I think we're good. So <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>